Hello and uh, welcome back to another episode of Beer Bar and Beyond. Once again, I'm Andrew and uh, thank you very much for tuning in. So in today's beer tasting, we've got something special and it actually comes from outside the Western Cape for uh, once in a while. Most of the beers that I have on this channel are generally from the Western Cape because obviously that's where I live, so it's more accessible for me. But in today's episode, I've got something actually from PE and it is from Richmond Hill Brewing Company. Uh, they were kind enough to send this to me as part of a gift pack with their unfiltered version of their Carbock John, which is their um, core beer. And it is a amber ale. And it was actually a very nice unfiltered amber. They also sent something called a Phases of Jan, which is their winter ale, which I have not yet cracked. But in that package also came this beer, which is that girl, a really nice, simple, clean can design. And it is an oatmeal stout, essentially a session oatmeal stout, uh, coming in at just 4.1% ABV. Not much information on the can, just a pale ale malt, oat malt, roasted barley, and southern star for bittering. So, excited to get this into a glass and give you my opinion on this That Girl oatmeal stout. So, if you're in the PE area, uh, whether on holiday or you live around there, definitely go down and support Richmond Hill. Uh, been seeing a lot of good things coming from them of late. They're one of the more active breweries on social media, especially on Instagram, and I've been liking what they've been producing. Uh, I like to see brands that are active, especially on Instagram, and it's nice to see them uh, promoting their brand and, you know, getting people hyped about uh, new releases. So, appearance-wise, we've got about just under two fingers of nice tan head, quite a light tan, uh, was khaki color, jet black in the glass. If I hold it up to the light, there's a bit of red hue to it, a deep red hue. Can't see much in terms of carbonation, which is nice because I like a I like a smoother feel to my start. So aesthetically looks the part uh, from what I expect from a start. Let's get the aroma on this that girl. That just sounds strange. Okay, not a huge nose, but there's some deep lying roasted notes bit of coffee bit of chocolate and vanilla standard notes that you expect from a stout mm. yeah and as i dig it a bit deeper there's a subtle hint of vanilla but really nothing that really stands out nothing that blows you away but a good solid nose not a robust nose as such but overall a nice nose bit of a like a vanilla coke sort of flavor in the background lingering there nice appearance uh, decent nose. Let's get the taste on this oatmeal stout from Richmond Hill. Cheers. Hmm. Wow. I was expecting the palate to follow more on the nose because um, I was getting some sweet flavors on the nose. However, on the palate, I'm getting quite a sort of smoky flavor. Uh, it's quite nice. It's a bit of background nuttiness as well, uh, hazelnut. Very subtle though. Not very sweet at all. I was expecting more of a sweet beer considering the nose. Yeah, but it's actually quite a smoky, robust, almost like a smoky porter in a way, but an oatmeal start is what it is. But in the mouth, it's, it's quite thin, but it's got good mouthfeel. Yeah, sort of medium mouthfeel, sort of sits around in your palate, but finishes quite thin, if that's more uh, one criticism I can have of it. But then again, this is a essentially a session start, and it's really nice. So from a session start, I guess you don't really want something too hugely sweet that you're gonna, you know, have a couple and think, nah, you know, my palate needs a break from all the sweetness. So it's actually quite nice, quite robust, quite smoky, uh, malty and toasty. And as a result, it's a, it's a really nice beer that um, I would uh, thoroughly enjoy on a cold winter's night in a pub if this was on tap. And actually, I'd love to see what this is like on tap. So guys, overall, I'm going to give this one a seven out of 10. A nice beer, a really good sessionable beer, um, something that I would definitely order at a bar if it was available on tap. Not something that I'm gonna rush out to buy. However, um, if this is a small batch release, 
However, I'm not really sure if it is a seasonal beer, uh, but if it is, it's, as I say, it's not something that I would rush out to buy every time, but it is a great beer if it's available readily. I'm gonna pick this up if I'm in the mood for a stout, uh, no doubt. Yes, that was a horrible rhyme. Only thing I really feel it's lacking on is a bit of um, thickness. Uh, I like a bit more of a thicker feel. Uh, this is slightly thin, but that's just me being a bit harsh actually to you. If you like something that's a bit more easy to drink uh, with a thinner finish, this might be right up your alley. So if you like your dark beers guys and you can get your hands on one, uh, check out that stout from Richmond Hill. Uh, well worth a pickup if you see it around in the bottle stores. So guys, thanks once again for tuning in. For those of you that have subscribed and those of you that follow me on Instagram, thank you very much. It's highly appreciated. If you like the video, share it with your friends. If you don't, hit that thumbs down uh, button or leave a comment and tell me where you think I can improve. But until next time guys, keep drinking good beers and I'll catch you again soon. Cheers.